there, I'm Tiffany King. I'm the executive director of the Mount Horb Area Chamber of Commerce. Just coming to you with our weekly updates and some shout outs of good news from our members. Um, I hope you are all doing well, enjoying this wonderful weather this week. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is that Governor Evers has issued a statewide mask mandate. So those of us in Dane County were used to um, the mask mandate, but it is now statewide for the state of Wisconsin. If you're out in public, you are required to wear a mask. The chamber does still have signage available, um, the required signage through Dane County Public Health, as well as signs on how to properly wear a mask and um, your capacity signs as well. So if you still need those, get a hold of us and we can help you out with that. Um, we are very heavily trying to promote shopping responsibly, but supporting local. Um, so we have worked closely with the Village of Mount Horeb and Rowan Childs, who's the new Economic Development Director, as well as Nick Owen, the Village Administrator, on the Street Eatery Program. Um, really trying to get people out and about and still enjoying our restaurants and our retailers, but in a very socially responsible way. So um, the street eatery and parking lot cafes are coming along. Um, some of the restaurants have them up and running already and we'll have a better list for you as, as those get up. But it's exciting to see those start to come to fruition. Um, we also sent a survey out to our retail eateries, attractions, and lodging of just the best way that we can help serve you during this time. Again, we're trying to very heavily promote um, being socially responsible, but also shopping local. So if you have not filled that survey out or if you didn't get the survey, let me know um, because your feedback helps determine our next course of action. So we want to hear from you. We also have a Let's Go virtual educational series coming up with Dan Paulson from Envision Business Consulting. This is really focused on surviving and thriving during the pandemic. So the first one on August 11th is um, No Touch Ways to Pay. So in a touchless society as we're becoming, um, do you have options for other than just cash and credit for your consumers to pay? So that's on August 11th. Um, you can sign up via our Zoom link. It's on our website and we sent an email out as well. Um, and we can also link it here um, with this video. So sign up for that. There's no cost. It's complimentary with your membership. Um, those will happen every month for the rest of the year. And again, they're all really focused on kind of surviving in this new normal. Um, just a couple shout outs for our members. Again, if you have good news, make sure you submit it. It will either be shout out through the video or through our member news that goes out on Fridays. But um, MHTC is doing their Love Their Community um, program. They're showing support by giving away $5,000 to be spent locally. So 100 MHTC customers get the chance to receive a $50 gift certificate from the local Chamber of Commerce. Um, and they announce those um, on Wednesdays. Um, so make sure that if you haven't signed up for that, you do for a chance to win. But again, just thank you to MHTC um, for supporting local and not only helping our citizens in our community, but also our businesses. Um, great program and we're excited to be a part of it. And then also Suniva Inn, which is our bed and breakfast here in Mount Horeb. All four of their guest rooms are now open, um, including a third floor suite with a air bubble tub. Um, so, you know, if you need to get away and just kind of isolate and enjoy um, some serenity and some peace, uh, check out Suniva and it's a beautiful property and room for the whole family. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, again, if you have anything that you need from us, let us know or any good news, please pass it along. We love to, to give shout outs and I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks.